level 2, T and T prime are similar triangles. The sides of T prime are three times longer than the sides of T. So I know what my multiple is already. That tells me my K is 3. So if I draw these rectangle or triangles, and I don't know how they look, but I'm going to pretend that I do. I have one that's T and one that's T prime. And so I have sides A, B, and C. And this would have to be 3A, 3B, and 3C. And then if I know the perimeter of T is 35, and be careful, make sure that says T, not T prime, so you're using it for the right one. T perimeter is 35, and remember perimeter add up all the sides, so I have A plus B plus C. And then for P prime, I want to know what that is, but I'm going to add up all the sides, so I'll have 3A plus 3B plus 3C. And I would dearly love to get that as A plus B plus C somehow, because I see I have a 35 equals that. So I want to factor out a 3, which means I'm doing the reverse distributive property, so pulling a 3 out. And basically, let's see, basically I'm dividing each term by 3, and I'll show you how that works in a second, and I end up with A plus B plus C. Now that makes me really happy because I know what A plus B plus C is equal to, but I want to double check myself and make sure I factored correctly, so what I want to do is multiply by 3 inside the parentheses like that to just to double check. And when I do that, I have 3A plus 3B plus 3C. And that's equivalent to what I had on the line before, so I know that I factored the 3 out properly. But now that I have that in its factored form, I was excited about that because up here, I see that if I have a plus b plus c, it's the same thing as 35. So instead of this a plus b plus c, I can just write 35. And then I have 3 times 35. And that's going to give me 105. And because I'm talking about perimeter, I'm just talking about units, not units squared. And there's no units showing, so I'll just use the word units. So the perimeter of the triangle 1, triangle T prime is 105 units.